we're back. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Tiger 1 expansion for Gale Force 9's tanks. Tiger was one of the beastliest tanks in the war, so had to pick one up for my Germans. And uh, we'll get right in and take a look. So here we have a quick look at our Tiger assembled and painted. Wish they came that way, that'd be nice, but... As with all the others, assembly instructions extremely limited. These actually have quite a bit more detail than most, but again, don't do any of the options. So you're going to be looking online for various options and uh, extra parts to figure out what to do with them. The spruces for this one aren't as complicated as a lot of them. I haven't actually put mine together yet, so I'm going to be guessing on these parts as best I can. Here we have our lower hull. These look like side skirt armors here. One of our barrel options, that's probably the 88. Different side skirts here. That's our turret peg. A couple optional bits, I'm not sure what those are. There we have our upper hull. As well as the lower turret. A couple track links. Some extra track links. Those are our hull mounted machine guns there. A few different uh, variants on turrets. Open and or, uh, turrets. Yeah, hatches open and closed. And I'm not sure if that's extra stowage or ammo, maybe. Got me on that one. We have our tracks. Looks like the rear hull with the exhaust. Uh, possibly extra front armor. And then we have... I believe that's a front panel that looks like the rear. I'm guessing on these. Those are the outer side skirts with the... Uh, Extra armor padding on them. And our turret. Probably got a big chunk of those wrong, but we'll figure it out when I actually assemble it. Then we have our Tiger card. This actually did not come in the starter set, so... The uh, only way to get these is to buy this expansion. Beast of a tank right there with that 8 hull. It means it can take a lot of abuse before it goes anywhere. Kind of disappointed by the 5 die attack. Really expected more out of the uh, German 88. The Tiger was quite a beast. It is considered a heavy tank, so it gets a cool bonus where you don't subtract armor when it's getting shot from the side. The side armor is just as strong as the front, which combined with that 8 hull is actually a pretty, pretty uh, powerful little thing. Of course, it's got Blitzkrieg for being German. For our upgrade guards, we got Otto Karius. I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce all these German names. But he's our tank commander. Gives us a bonus to initiative in the shooting phase. A bonus to uh, damage while stationary. And uh, it also removes defense from the target, which is really bad. So if you sit still while it makes you a bigger target, you're going to be doing more damage and reducing the armor on the target. Excellent uh, spotter there. We have Kurt Knispel. Terrible with these names. Another commander. This one gives you plus three initiative. Then when rolling attack dice, you may re-roll up to two dice. Rerolls are very few and far between in this game, so very nice to have. That plus three initiative bumps you up to a uh, eight initiative on such a beastly tank to start with. Pretty mean. You can also put them on other German tanks and still be a uh, big threat. I'm not going to try to pronounce this one since it's in German, but this is a um, extra armor plating. Basically, uh, if a crit comes up that you don't like, you can use this to uh, cancel that. Unfortunately, you still take another critical and you're stuck with whatever the second one is, but let you get around specific ones. Then we have a German Doctrine card. It's the first time we've come across one of these in our expansions. And um, this one lets you... Uh, do your repair checks on a 3 plus. This on the Tiger is really disgusting because you can keep repairing that thing all day long. You only fail your repairs on a 1 or 2. 
Then we have a standard upgrade for a determined driver. Uh, you're going to have to pick between the two commanders. Both are pretty nice. I kind of like Auto better, but uh, Kurt definitely has his uses. You have two Tigers, you can bring them both, but uh, pretty nice little set there. I don't have an assembled one to show off right now. I might edit it in the video here if I can get this thing done built fast enough. We'll see how that comes out. And there's a look at the fully assembled uh, Tiger. Again, didn't have a lot of options. There's two different types of side skirts you can put on there and a couple extra bits, but that's pretty much it. Not too much you can do with that kit, but still a beastly uh, tank. Overall, though, I can't wait to get this thing on the table. Power-wise, it's just an absolute beast, as it should be for a uh, Tiger. Wish that 88 was a little bit stronger. With Otto as your commander, you can bump it up to make it a little more fearsome. Defensive-wise, the Tiger's right about where it should be. It has uh, two extra hull points than even the most powerful other tank that's out there right now, at least of the ones I've seen. Most of them max out at six for even the heaviest stuff, so having eight stands it apart as it is. That listing for heavy, uh, that lets you uh, get the bonus armor from the side. Definitely going to help it with its survivability, too. And uh, it's basically just going to be a beast out there. Aren't too many options in the kit as far as um, alternative builds and things, but I don't think there were too many variants of the Tiger itself. So that's kind of to be expected. And uh, can't wait to get this thing together and get it out there and blow some people up with it. I have a friend who plays uh, German stuff exclusively, so he's kind of salivating over this thing and can't wait to try it out want to do a game of this versus four or five shermans and really see how historically accurate the game can be anyway that's going to wrap it up for the german tiger thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video